Hey, how are you going? My name is Emilio. Today we're gonna to look at how to update the VM hardware version in a VMware environment. Uh, we're doing this on ESXi or vCenter 7.0. Steps are very, very easy. Hopefully you found this helpful. Before we do that, please remember to subscribe to my channel, clicking on that bell to be kept up to date with every one of my video releases. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross over to my computer. We're going to log in to our ESXi host. You can log in directly to an ESXi host or directly into a vCenter environment and then have all of your hosts listed in there. And what we've got is we've got our VM hardware version. So this is our VMs, uh, got a specific hardware version attached to them that is relevant to the ESXi version which they're running on. We're doing this on version uh, seven of ESXi. So it's going to upgrade the hardware version to the latest version being VMware ESXi 7. Now something that you do have to be aware of is if you are in an environment that does have a mix of ESXi hosts that are mixed between versions, so for example, you have an ESXi 7, but you've also got a 6.5 and a 6, you know, a 6.0, for example. If you upgrade a VM on uh, 7, for example, to the latest hardware version, then you won't be able to migrate it or run it on an earlier version of ESXi. So just keep that in mind. If all of your hosts, or even if you have just one host, all running seven, you'll be great. So if you do have a mix of uh, hosts, versions, only upgrade your VM hardware version, essentially the lowest version of ESXi that you have running so that you ensure that its compatibility is okay across all of your ESXi hosts. Uh, we're running this on a demo uh, computer. This is essentially a Mac mini running ESXi 7 and that's the current build. And of course the resources on this aren't the greatest. You're not gonna find the same resources as you can on a server. So you can do this by connecting directly into the ESXi host or via vCenter, and then navigating to your ESXi host and to your VM. So from here, we're gonna select virtual machines. So here are my VMs. We've got three powered off, one powered on. Uh, you will have more or less. And the next step is now to upgrade the VM hardware or what VMware also calls the upgrade VM compatibility. Now you can only do this on a VM that is powered off, okay? So you'll have to power the VM off to be able to upgrade it and then you can power it back on. Now let's just use one of these as an example. I've got Security01, this is a VM, it's a 2008 R2, so it's a little bit of an older VM and I can right click on this right here and you'll see that I've got listed upgrade VM compatibility. Select a compatibility for this VM and you'll see that in the drop down you've got a few different options. You've got seven, you've got workstation, you've got earlier versions of six, all the way down to 5.1. Select only the version that is relevant for your environment. If you are confident that a VM is not going to move off this host, this host being ESXi 7, select ESXi 7 and then upgrade. As Soon as you do that, if you're running something like vMotion, um, DRS to be able to move the VMs between hosts and you've got other hosts that are running 6.7, 6.5, 6.55, uh, you won't be able to move it over. There are ways to downgrade it back to an earlier version. We're not gonna go through that in this video, but just beware of that, okay? So in this case, Security01 is going to stick and stay in this particular host running seven, or I've got other hosts that are seven, and I can select that and select upgrade. This operation changes the compatibility of your virtual machine. We talked about that earlier, so just be aware and select yes if you are happy with that. The process is very, very quick and that is it. Now you'll see that if I right click and select uh, security, upgrade VM compatibility is now no longer available because it is running seven. Similarly, you'll see that uh, I've got a server here powered on. I can right click and that is grayed out. I know for a fact that this particular server was built on a 6.7 VM. So I will have to shut that down to then be able to say upgrade VM compatibility. Here's another one, client upgrade VM compatibility. And then I can also select the version right there as I need to. So there you go, simple steps. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, comment below, let me know your thoughts. And as always, please like this video, clicking on that bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.